What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? This is Philip 20 today, and I've got some great news and some bad news. Well, the good news is basically I've got two good bangs right now. Um, the lower one is definitely weaker than the upper one, but it functions. Uh, none of the cells drop to zero. Uh, really quickly so they, they will drop to zero at a point in time but you know it, it won't be nowhere near as quickly as the uh is the the batteries here so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine see uh nine batteries that are dead they're dead one of them short circuited and the rest of them i'm assuming don't have potassium hydroxide in it and I noticed that all of these, except for one, is dead. Now this one is brownish, rusty looking. I'm assuming that it's rusted on the inside. I don't know if you can see it. It's all brown and rusty looking. This one's all nasty looking. Well, I think it's rusted out on the inside. Um, Every one of the older ones, which is this type of side, function well, except this one. This is the only one that uh, has any trouble. All the newer ones are weaker than the older ones on average. Uh, so, that tells me directly that the older ones was uh, better taken care of, or manufactured better. But for sure, this one is shot. Uh, this one, it won't. Uh, it is better than the rest of the cells, to be honest with you, but it's still not good enough. Uh, this one's been traded in and out four or five times now, and the other ones have been traded in and out. Uh, some of the ones that I had tape on, I've taken the tape off because they're just in better condition. And it's it's a really good feeling to know how much power I actually got out of it. Uh, I got 137 amp hours uh, into the charge yesterday. It took all day long of charging. I did do one load of dishes and one load of laundry, but I had to turn everything off continuously all day during charge besides those things to uh, recharge this whole bank. That's 137 amp hours. Uh, last night I used about uh, 90, no, 102, 105 or something like that. Uh, and I'm back up to 135 right now and it's about 11.23 in the morning. We've had pretty good sun today and I'm pretty impressed. Now, to be honest with you, I have been really, really careful in how much power I use. I did make some coffee today, which doesn't take a lot of power. It just takes a lot of load for a short period of time. Um, I think I've got the coffee pot still on, uh, but it's got a timer on it, which is pretty cool. If you're ever doing solar, make sure you get a coffee pot with a timer. Uh, and it's an automatic timer. It's not something you have to set in. It's always going to shut off after 30 minutes. So we're moving forward with the solar array with the battery bank. I'm pretty impressed on how how much power it's got. Uh, we used about 100 and... Uh, I've gotten out 137 amp hours out of the bank. And let's do some calculations. And you can't actually just say 48 volts because uh, the voltage times the amp hour isn't always 48 volts. I'd say it's more likely to be most of the time 45 volts. So I'm going to go with you know 137 multiplied by 45 volt 6.16 kilowatt hours of energy. So it's 6,165 watt hours. Um, 
I wasn't even close to able to use that much power out of my other bank. And that is power I'm actually pulling out, not power I'm putting in. I got a feeling for me to get 6,000 kilowatt, 6,000 watt hours into the bank, I'm putting in like 8 or 9 kilowatts into the bank just to charge it to 6,000 watts. You know, it's crazy how much energy it takes to recharge this thing. For instance, right now we've been charging for uh, quite some time. We're putting in 2,400 watts and we've been drawing a total of you know 300 watts or so but you know we're putting we're pulling out of the solar array 2700 watts which the cl the classic charge controller I'm going to be sending it off cuz I've got 3750 watts and it's not reaching that le level of power when you know it used to le reach higher than this with less solar panels so I think when I was running 24 volts at its maximum amps, it, it gave it a stroke. I mean, it run it too hard. So basically, uh, you know, I need to you know, have 60 more amp hours today to recharge. And uh, I've got 4.5 kilowatt hours in from the solar today, and I've recharged about 45, kilowatt 45 amp hours so and the voltage is really funny how this works um the voltage is really weird compared to a lead acid battery a lead acid battery it hits one voltage and it really slowly goes down but with this you'll go from like 52 volts down to 38 volts over a long period of time and it'll just slowly creep down to like 48 and then it'll stop right there start slowly dropping even lower over time and this morning it was 40 uh, 43 volts I got up I used the computer downstairs for a few minutes it's a big computer so it's not a laptop uh, basically, I can run laptop all day, all night long on like 50, 60 watts. But my desktop is downstairs, and you know I, I like to sit down in my comfort zone and just sit down and enjoy myself. So uh, I use a lot more power just by having that computer. I use about 250 watts. Plus, I got a 40-inch television attached to that computer. And you know, the voltage dropped down quickly, but then it'll come right back up whenever I turn it back off. It's really funny how these batteries work. Um, starting a compressor when it's low voltage, I've had trouble with. Now, this is one thing that a YouTuber has uh, had trouble with with these type of batteries is uh, starting the compressor. Now, Remember, I've got that inverter compressor upstairs, and it uses hardly any power to run. And then the compressor downstairs, I had it uh, an automatic timer for it to come on three times at night, and then it would run during the day. That way, it just top off for 15 minutes or so. Well, at seven o'clock in the morning, when it's 38 volts, back when the second battery bank wasn't up as good as it is now it would uh, turn off uh, the uh, whole system at, when it was at 38 volts. 34 volts is a shut off on this system, but 38 volts is the limit that I want to go to. And the reason I want to go to that is because I don't want to bring the voltages down below one volt on the cells. And I, I, I don't know for sure if it's going to hurt it or not, but I definitely want to keep it at a, you know, the maximum potential as possible you know <clears throat> right now I'm looking uh, at a total amount of power I think I've got about six um, kilowatt hours of power as of right now I haven't changed any KOH but don't get me wrong it's coming up as soon as you know Christmas is over and stuff like that uh, I would like to get a webcam so I could stream in uh, you know conferences and talk with people live on the internet with you guys that would be really cool uh, but 
you know that's just up in the air it's you know it's not something that is necessary at the moment um so i'm i'm hitting it really hard and my biggest problem remember i started at the beginning of the video my biggest problem today is i can't charge these batteries all the way up unless i quit using power during the daytime and that's when i get all the stuff that i normally get done you know uh in order to charge the batteries up, I've got to not use stuff. So, I've got to have a limit that isn't 6 kilowatts. I'm not manufacturing enough power unless there's sunlight. And that is a very tr tricky thing. I can do one load of laundry and one dishwashing. And that's it. Um, that is totally it. Uh, I can get them full that day with one load of laundry and one dishwashing, but like I said, that is it. And I don't even think I get them fully charged because I'm still putting in 25 to 24 amps at f my absorbed voltage. Now, these batteries don't require a float voltage, but I've reset it to where my absorb would be three hours. My float would be, you know, point one volt lower than absorbed voltage so 62.7 is absorbed 62.6 is your float so it's really not that big of a difference now I also can put in one more battery if I had one more battery that wasn't shot but that's a fact I don't have any more batteries that didn't these need KOH for sure I'm gonna hit it with my manual charger again See if I can get them to uh, come back to life. But as of right now, I've got most of the bottom bank like in great condition. The top bank is not perfect, but it's much better than the bottom bank. And then these spare batteries, well, I don't have any spares as we speak. So let's just wish me luck that I don't kill any. Um, <clears throat> I'm charging them with about 35 to 45 amps with the charge controller I can't charge them with the inverter because I don't have the controllers that would be really cool if I could get one of those uh, it's not that big a deal except I just can't maintenance the batteries I you know I want to be able to recharge them completely and you know maintenance the crap out of them you know I just really want to wake them up and make them work better but as of right now it's working really well it's coming alive. I've got 137 amp hours out of one bank on both banks, and I'm pretty happy with it. So if you ever get a chance to pick up you a bunch of these batteries for cheap, do it. Um, and if you're interested, just uh, send me a message if you want to get some. I'll see what I can do about getting you some. But I can't get any more of these, but I can get the 100 and uh, 60 amp hour ones. They're smaller. They're in the same condition. So it's, it's up in the air what you're going to get. I got um, 76 good batteries out of 90. But let's just assume that uh, you wouldn't, but you can. It's, it's totally your choice. Um, my opinion is now I'm happy with how much power I'm getting. I'm going to be really happy when I change the KOH. But the biggest problem is I'm going to have to limit how much power I'm allowed to use now because I can't recharge the batteries. Don't have enough solar. So this is what's going to happen. I'm going to send that Classic off. They're going to fix it and send it back. I'm going to be able to charge with a thousand more watts. That probably will not be enough. I'm going to need to put more panels on that Classic. So more panels, I can reach up to 88 amps on that Classic supposedly. Yeah, right. That'll kill it. Uh, I'm hoping I can get 60 amps out of that Classic the way it is. And with my solar ray after I get it sent off. And once I get to that point, I will add another Classic and then run another wire with another combiner box and add more panels that are uh, cheaper. Uh, I might even think about getting monocrystalline. That way I've got polycrystalline and monocrystalline batteries. So the drawback of having this much uh, batteries is you can't charge it in one day. Um, you can charge it over time. And if you can turn it off and on automatically, that'd be really cool. 
That way you just doesn't you don't use too much of it. But for sure, I am really happy and I'm really sad. I'm really happy because I've got a lot of power that I can use in you know emergency situations. I'm really sad. I can't charge it in one day. It's not possible. So there's going to be some way I've got to be able to charge this thing. And again, thanks for watching. Solar power, electricity, and electronics. And I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.